Hey everyone, this is Kyla, and I said I'm going to try to post every week if I can. This is my first quarter at Capella, and I just want to share how I am loving it so far. The first week was light. The second week, no, the second week was a little heavy because we had a discussion to post and we actually had our first assignment. In addition to that, we have to make sure we respond to another, you know, a fellow learner in discussion. And then when we do our assignment, oh, that's on Sunday. When we, we do an assignment that was due on Sunday, we also have to um, uh, schedule an interview with our faculty advisor if you are in the master's program if you're in a certificate program then you have to schedule an interview with a uh, another professional so that was interesting and i actually had my faculty advisor interview today i had to interview him just ask questions about the field and things like that uh, so we can get like real life experiences with other people that's actually doing it I love it. I'm loving it. It's a lot. I'm still learning. Um, but I, I've gotten good grades my first two weeks. I'm keeping my A average. Um, I'm just waiting for my assignment grade. Um, but I'm ready to dive into the third week. This is week three. Week three. Well, my first two weeks, as much as it was a little scary because it's been over 10 years since I um, did my master's from Walden University, and here I am doing another master's at Cap um, Capella University. Um, I guess I'm getting back into the groove of of things, along with working full time. So I don't just go to school; I also work full time, and my full time job feels like another another level of school because there's a lot of writing that I have to do for um, progress notes for my clients. And I'm very hands-on with my clients in the mental health capacity. So it's like a double sore for me, but I'm adjusting, considering I am over 50 years old. So I'll give myself a good little pat on the back. See my rolls are right there? You know, squeeze and hug that. <laughs> um, give me comfort to say you can do this, along with I, I know I can. But anyway, I just want to... Um, you know, just try to post at least weekly if I can for my first quarter. There's 10 weeks in a quarter. This is my first, um, the first quarter of two and a half total years to complete this program. And I just want to see how I grow in leaps and bounds while I discover, rediscover myself. Um, being in school and the challenges of working full time all of my degrees this is degree number four the first degree is associates the second one is bachelor's the third one is master and this will be fourth master so out of all my degrees and I started late too I started my first one I was 28 years old and now like I said I'm over 50 so over mm, 20 something years in the span of 20 something years. And then by the time I get this degree, I'll be about 55. Um, expected graduation day is 2026. Um, but I'm just taking it one day at a time. I like what Marla Gibbs said. She's going by her, what she said? Her vibration. So. I'll probably vibe on 55 when I graduate. No, I'll be 55 when I graduate. But I'm going to vibe on 35. I like that. Fives. I love the number five. Don't know why. I'll come back and tell you what it might mean. But it's a good number. So, 55. Expect to grad. No, I won't be 55. I'll be gone on 55 in 2026. Um, But like I say... I'll be 55, right? Well, I'll be almost 55 in that year. Because March is before my birthday, which is June. But that would be a great gift for me. I mean, this year, 2023, my gift to me was going back to school. 
and working on getting my license. Then when I graduate, my gift, my birthday gift for me, this was a New Year gift going back to school, but my birthday gift for me, I'm um, going on 55 and walking across the stage whenever that's going to be, would be a nice birthday gift for me as well. Okay, so I look forward to it. I'm going to keep trying to post consistently. I'm glad I'm not dog tired today because between working and going to school, it could be mentally draining, but I get it done. If I have to sit my butt still to finish work and then finish schoolwork, I'm getting it done. So also, I hope I'm a testimony to show that anything is possible if you set your mind to something that you want to do and age should be no barrier to do that. Um, like I said, I vibe. I'll vibe on 35 when I'm 55. <laughs> right now, I'll vibe on 30. I'll vibe on 30. 30 is cool. So anyway, happy Tuesday. And, you know, just whatever you decide you want to do in your life, just set your intentions and go for it. Like Oprah says, be intentional. It works. If you have the intention to do something, do it. And I am a good example of anything is possible. Have a good day, everybody. Bye.